The domesticated horse is still a horse, and each animal, each horse, has four parts of intelligence. We are the ones who are responsible for all parts of this horse, of all parts of intelligence. The domesticated horse. What is a domesticated horse? Is it a horse that has completely changed of, of the inner? Uh, is he an animal that has been prepared or bred by people to make sure that he's a very sweet, cutie, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, a teddy bear. You should hug him, you should, oh, you should treat him like a baby, talk, talk funny to him. Or is a horse still inside the same horse? Well, we have proof, we can say that science or whatever, uh, whatever people investigated, because many people have investigated, like Jane Goodall also investigated a lot of things. The people have shown, or horses have shown, that they, as soon as they uh, are themselves alone, on a lot of space and on a lot of, uh, with others that they show, their instinctive behavior, that they go back to their instincts. So that means that in, no, I don't think in, in our country, because it's too wet, it's too cold, there's too much water, but they, they show that they are, they, you might call them domesticated, but in reality they are still horse. And that also goes for, for the brain. Uh, the horse is still a horse. And like this guy, he's now coming towards uh, my, my wheelbar. This guy is still a horse even though his ancestors have been domesticated for some time now. One of the things I think is very important with horses is to teach them how we deal uh, with, with the environment and with the other things. Also scientific research told us, taught us that the brain of animals in captivity, and it goes for people the same, I have some experience, uh, 24 years in prison, we're working there, <laughs> uh, that the brain shrinks and uh, criminals or convicts complained about the loss of sight. They said when they were long enough uh, for a long time or long enough for a long time inside the prison, they couldn't see well. When they were outside, everything was so overwhelming. There was a lot of noise, there was a lot of things to see. And that's the same with horses. Some horses are being kept in, in stalls and they have a wall in front of them. Well, it, it definitely makes a horse crazy because he needs, uh, he, he needs more. He needs his sentences, uh, sensories should be activated all the time. And horses are learning animals. They have to learn a lot in their life. Uh, the moment they're born, the instinctual behavior is there, but then it all starts. Uh, it's only the beginning. The birth is only the beginning of, of a horse. Um, then they are being taught by the mother. The mother teaches them what, what care is. Yeah, they can, uh, their, their circle around the mother gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Each, sometimes even in days, you can see it. In, if you watch mares with fillies in the field, you can see that the circles around the mother are getting bigger. So they want to explore their, their environment. Well, in captivity, um, that's a little bit more hard because we don't always have these possibilities to let a horse explore things. Okay, so the shrinking brain, it's something to be aware of and something to be careful for. Uh, you should always, I think, uh, activate the brain no matter what you're doing. And it's very easy if you know how. Uh, activating a horse in, in being a horse is very easy. And it's not standing in the sun place like you see him now, bored, eating, getting fat, doing nothing. No, it's also play a little bit, Just play, give him some fire, give him moments of care. But also, he's a stallion, so I cannot put him with the other stallion because the other stallion is more, um, well, he's more nervous, so he's more aggressive. So I'm sorry to, to say to you that these horses cannot be together. Okay, I'm going to show something about my tools and things I think are very important. He has to know the difference in between my tools and things he can do. He can explore, he can come to me, but he cannot play with my tools. So. I'm going there, I'm going to clean some, some poo.
at last there is some action so I want to show you how I think a horse should deal with our equipment uh, the, the, the wheel bar is part of my tool it's, uh, especially in winter time there will be a moment that they have to stay inside because everything is frozen and you can say ah oh, you should keep them outside it's always easy to say what other people have to do so I'm not going to discuss it but what I do want to discuss with you is <clears throat> how I think a horse should deal with our property. A horse is an animal which cannot learn what is mine and what is yours because to him it's well it's just things. But they can definitely learn to stay away from certain things and I think that's very important. It's also part of the brain. Keeping the brain healthy means to give him boundaries and limitations and tell the horse what he should do and what he should not do. In his own world, he would have a lot of boundaries and limitations. There would be, uh, if he was a mare, he, he would have this, this male horse that will tell him, come on, let's walk f uh, faster or we can, we can rest now. And all those kinds of things are very important. Uh, it keeps the brain working, so they have to pay attention on the others. Well, in captivity, they don't always have to pay attention to others. Uh, some have one friend and they, they spend their lives together uh, with two horses. I have, don't have to explain, that's not natural. That's not a natural thing to do. Being outside is also not natural. It's only a part of nature. Having a lot of space is also no nature. It's nature is the animal inside. It's the brain capacity and that's where I got these four elements of intelligence, yeah, the physical intelligence, the social intelligence, the emotional intelligence and the body intelligence. Because if something is wrong with the body, well, then the horse is very, very, very unhappy. And many people think, no, he's not unhappy, he wants to be uh, loved and he wants to be cared. Well, I can assure you, uh, For a, let, let me give you an example. If people become blind, they start to hear bear. Not all, but, but many times that happens. And you will hear these exceptional stories of how people can hear more or can feel better. That's human. And that's possible because we don't use our sens sensories for 100%. Uh, we have them, but we don't use them anymore. We have our brain, so we can think about it. We think that's very smart. Um, that's the reason why people who, who become blind are starting to use other sensories. They take over. With a horse, it's the opposite. When a horse gets blind, he is instinctual dead. Uh, to, to make it a little bit, not to say that it's like that, but to make it clear, he's brain dead. He, his brain uh, tells him, his instinct tells him, it's over. Because a blind horse has no, uh, well, has nothing anymore. And so what happens with the blind horse uh, he can get become more fearful, but his sensories will will uh, become less. He will respond less on sounds. He will respond less on uh, things he smells. He can't see anymore, so that's that's for horses. It's the basic thing. It's the first uh, thing: uh, watching, listening, and. Uh, feeling that those are the, the, the basic rules of horses. The, their, their sight is the most important thing they have. And you can say, but they're domesticated, so they're totally tr changed. Well, that's pretty stupid to say, because it's still a horse. And horses all over the world show us. Domesticated horses who become Mustangs. Domesticated horses who become Brumbies. So be careful to think and say that a horse is totally different, and that he needs your nursery or your your baby talk or, or stuff like that. No, keep the brain working. Keep the body working. Keep the emotions working. Let him deal with the situations. Teach him limits, boundaries and limitations. It's so important, it's so important. And don't teach him wrong things. Don't ever teach a horse wrong things. Don't teach him to attack anything, nothing, never. It's a very dangerous thing, very, very dangerous. Okay. Hope you like it, watching the us of this golden guy in his winter coat.